All right, let's find um, the maximum of a value, I'm sorry, the maximum of a function that has a cusp, otherwise known as a point. All right, when you guys do this, uh, first you want to find your critical uh, points. Uh, so we're going to take the derivative of f of x. The derivative of 1 is 0. And then we're going to subtract the derivative of this guy. Now the derivative of this guy has a, uh, an exponent, so we've got to use a chain rule. We drop the 2 over 3. And we multiply it times x minus 1, and we have to subtract 1 from 2 over 3, so we get negative 1 third. And then we take the derivative of the inside, which is just 1, so we would be multiplying it by 1, which doesn't do anything. And actually, this guy doesn't do anything either. Um, so, uh, this is our answer. Because it's a negative exponent, I'm going to put them on the bottom of a fraction. So it's going to be negative 2 over 3 times 1 over x minus 1 raised to the 1 third power, which we could just say the third root of the bottom. Uh, but let's just go ahead and leave it like that. And then uh, when we simplify that even further, we get 2 over 3 times x minus 1 uh, to the 1 third. Now remember that you can't distribute that 3 until you do the exponent, so we just leave it the way it is. This is f of x. So to find our critical points, we set um, f prime of x equal to 0. And then um, to solve it first, uh, we would multiply both sides by the denominator. So we would multiply it by 3, x minus 1 raised to the 1 third. And that would cancel those guys out. And then you multiply this side by the same thing, 3 times x minus 1 to the third power times 0, which would just be 0, so our result would be 0 equals negative 2, which we know not to be true, which means that the, the, the f prime, I'm sorry, yeah, there does not exist a c such that it equals 0 uh, for this function, so we can't take the derivative uh, at, at this critical point. Now this makes sense if we actually tried to graph this function. This is what the function would look like. Uh, as you can see, between uh, negative 1 and 2, that's negative 1, there's 2, uh, we have a maximum point at the point of the red line. The red line is the graph of this function. So uh, we know that we can't take derivatives at points or at cusps. So how are we going to find the maximum value? Well, it's actually quite simple. You just need to look at your derivative, which is right here, and ask yourself, where does this line or this uh, function not exist? And this function would not exist at x equals 1, because if I plugged in the 1 right there, it would make the denominator 0, and as we all know, you can't have a 0 for the denominator. So we know that at x equals 1, we have an undefined uh, undefined slope function. So that means that's where we're going to find our point. So if you want to know the, the maximum value, you take the 1 and you plug it back into our original function, which would look like so. And it actually works out quite nicely because we get a 0 right here. We don't have to raise anything to 2 thirds power. We're left with 1. So that means our maximum our maximum point is 1, 1.